To say that there are limited playstyles in Borderlands 2 would be a major understatement. The game has everything you could possibly want. Cash, cars, words I'm not allowed to say anymore. And of course, guns. But what if you couldn't use your guns or your grenades? Only melee? Can you beat Borderlands 2 melee only? The rules for this run are very simple. No bullets at all. We can use Krieg's action skill and no grenades, obviously. Next, we awake in the cold being taken advantage of by Wally's disabled cousin, or we would have done if I hadn't lost all the footage. So we're starting off at Sanctuary. Uh, I'm sorry. We do some sus shit with the power supply, meet Mr. Olympia, check in with the smackhead and go and hide Roland's hentai collection. We do some pest control, greet the locals, then run away from the locals. We next meet the Valorant e-girl who decides to steal my revive kill. The first side quest of a few was next and that was the assassinate the assassins quest line. The reason we did this is because melee damage in Borderlands 2 scales with player level. Little science lesson for you there. Higher number mean me stronger. In all honesty I've got to say this far into the run wasn't really a problem at all. So I was starting to get a little bit cocky with the run. Boy did I regret that later. We fuck up our boy Bold, and then we go and meet a character that no one's ever seen anything disturbing of, ever. <coughs> After meeting the R34 star herself, Ellie, it was then time to go and get some bandit car parts, and over the course of the next two fucking hours, I finally managed to get all five car parts, thanks to some glitches. I don't know how this happened, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> no, I did it. I don't care how I did it. I fucking did it. With the new Bugatti that's razzed up, we can go into the Bloodshot Stronghold, where we get assaulted by Santa Claus and his little fuckers. I have nothing to say, he's literally just Batman. Naturally, with him being Batman, we have to fight him like the Batman enemies would. Run around like a dickhead and try and avoid him. We then change our drip so we look fly as fuck for the next area, and we enter the Bloodshot Stronghold. We now enter the first torturous part of the run inside the Bloodshot Stronghold, and that is an enemy known as Mad Mike. Now this fucker kicked my ass for around two hours because I refused to go and do side quests. Enjoy. Oh come on! No! What? Oh come on! He has like on the beach. Oh. Fuck you. We next get to meet the princess in this castle, known as Roland, who gets kidnapped by Warden. Now the Warden fight wasn't too oh, tedious or anything on. like that. The badass has got slightly annoying. Other than that, it was just one, two, three, dead, yep. move on. We then meet the local pisshead and the bomb expert, grab thing one and thing two, and head on over to Wilhelm. Ironically, the run up to Wilhelm was harder than the Wilhelm boss fight itself. The Wilhelm boss fight basically just arrived into use your ult, throw everything you have at him, run around like a headless chicken for two minutes. Throw everything you have at him. Run around like a headless chicken for dick. You get the idea. We slot in Wilhelm's zip bomb. Roland takes an arrow to the knee. And Lilith hits the fattest vape known to man. <laughs> the next hurdle in the run was the badass thresher at the back of the Hyperion complex. And I think you can tell in the recording now that my you, anger is just... starting to build. Wait, I'm so, yeah. No. Oh my god. After many attempts of trying to kill Cthulhu's neurodivergent niece, I eventually decided it was time to probably do a little bit of leveling. So we head over to the bandit slaughterhouse, gain a level, come back, and clap the absolute fuck out of that calamari. We link back up to Sanctuary, change our clothes again to look like James Bond himself, and attempt old Slappy. And speaking of old Slappy, I want all of you to imagine a boss, right? Some boss you fought hundreds of times before, and then just all the tools that you try and kill the boss with just just remove them just try and beat the boss with your bare hands you see how torturous that would be this boss it's not even a boss this 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 optional boss ate away at me for a very long time so i decided that i was going to go and level up a bit more by carrying on the story to come and take him on in order to level up to take on old slappy we had to get through the wildlife preservation area of the game where we encountered a super badass loader this loader was three levels above me and was kicking the fuck out of me for a very long time. So I went back to the good old fashioned tactic. Run behind something and wait for my cooldowns to come back. Look, I never said I was good at this game, okay? With that poor excuse for a dishwasher beaten, it was time to fight our... There's something boss. The big pigeon. This boss was surprisingly easy. I don't know why I keep getting lucky. It's just three alts. Done. Six minutes. Easy. 
Up goes the weasel. We get a new gun that increases our melee damage. And we go back to the bandit slaughterhouse for two levels. Two levels gained. We go and slaughter a man's companions, which he congratulates us for. We kill this annoying asshole, run back and make our second course of calamari. We gain a level up from doing a side quest and carry on the ascent up to Bunker. Now Bunker was my biggest fear for this run because obviously he's a big flying robot and we're melee only. Krieg's action skill was a good way around this although it's really hard to aim. The Bunker fight was very similar to the Wilhelm fight where it essentially just arrived into wait for the action skill cooldown, use it, wait for the action skill cooldown, use it. That was literally the entire Bunker fight. It took an hour of me just running around waiting for cooldowns. There is nothing else to say on Bunker. He's boring and I don't want to spend any more time on yeah! <laughs> Fuck you! You piece Man. of shit! We murder some random girl, Roland gets capped, and we begin one of the worst parts of the game so far for this build. Go up the elevator! Use your ult, die. Go up the elevator, use Dead your ult, uh, die. Yeah. Go up the elevator, use your ult, oh. die. Go up the elevator, use your ult, die. Get up Fuck the elevator, off! This section, right? Took me two and a half hours. It's safe to say at this point, I was getting fairly fucking angry and needed a break from the game. But continuing this cycle of cock and ball torture, I was eventually able to push through and beat it. Yes! Failing to climb a ladder correctly, we have to go and twist four valves in order to move on to the next area. One valve, two valve, three valve, four valve. After this, we get the pleasure of trying to take on Saturn. Now, Saturn is torturous on normal runs, so you can only imagine what he was like here. He was three levels above me, so I reverted to the tried and tested mechanic of running the fuck past him and hoping he doesn't kill me. For the eagle-eyed among you, you may have noticed that I am occasionally smashing myself in the face while I'm playing, and that is because of a skill that Krieg has. This skill doesn't seem to be much of a problem right now, but I guarantee later on it drives me up the wall, as you will see. With that clarified, we run inside the Hyperion complex to download 300 terabytes of My Hero Academia, yaoi. After watching these dickheads kill each other, we get to pick up the best shield for us in this run, which is the Order. The Law and Order have a very unique passive effect when they are bound together, and that is any melee damage done with the Law will be added as health via the Order. This shield is crucial for our run and will make this much less miserable than it previously was. You may be thinking to yourself, now that's the video over. He's close to the end game. He has his build fully set up, and that's all he's got to do. Do. Beat one boss, game over. No. At this point in time in the run, I was eight hours in. The whole run took around 14 hours ish. I spent the next six hours on this section because I refused to leave, I refused to level up, and I refused to do any more side quests. I was here that long, repeating this over and over and over again, that the enemies respawned and I gained levels off of them. Also, remember what I said earlier about that skill that wasn't really a problem at the time? Yeah, it started rearing its ugly head around now. And with all that mental torture that I just described, to you, I would like to present this masterpiece. I hit myself in the fucking face again. Oh, come on. Don't you dare take that. Oh, Landing on the charge. Why? <laughs> Every... Bro, four times. Fuck. Six times in a row. Motherfucker. Sorry, what? Why does he do fire damage? Really? What? Oh, fuck off, man. Oh, come on. Twice in a row. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, my God. What? He fucking hit me! And it What? I lost all of my momentum. Oh. At last being released from that paradoxical torture, we finally get to go one-on-one -on -one with Handsome Jack. Surprisingly, one ult later, he is on his ass and calling for his little bitch boy to save him. The 
The warrior actually was not really a problem for me. Surprisingly, it was just whack the toes repeat. All of the bosses in this run seem to majorly just be time sinks and trying to stay alive for the 120 seconds. They weren't actually overly difficult to overcome the warrior was the greatest example of this i genuinely thought the warrior would be a bit of a problem but thanks to the law and order constantly healing me i was able to tank it and just rush through with the warrior's head finally blown off this run is completed and with this run completed i don't know what to do now i have run out of stuff to do this project has eaten away the last two weeks of my life and I've fallen in love with it as it's gone along. So if anyone has any other suggestions for challenge runs, please let me know. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe and like it. Or don't, it doesn't matter to me. I just enjoy making these videos. I would like to thank all of you that decided to stay. I think it's my best so far and I would like to make a lot more.